guys, it's Adrian. I'm having some camera issues here. I don't know what it's doing. Um, and yes, it's still Tuesday. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to get some videos out and <laughs> yeah, it's still technically Tuesday. I don't know when this one will come out, but, um, I mentioned in my whip video that, uh, I was having some eBay frustrations. Um, and I was hoping that maybe some of you guys could, um, maybe give me some tips on selling on eBay. Um, I, I had a little bit of, it's okay, Kiwi, a little bit of a, uh, negative experience with it. Um, and it's kind of put a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth about selling on eBay. Um, I just opened the eBay store just a couple of days ago. Um, and I only actually got about, I think it's 18 listings in there and they're all for crochet items. Um, and the first thing that I wasn't sure about was pricing. Um, I think an auction style sale would be fun and I think it gives the opportunity to people, it gives people the opportunity to get some, you know, get, get handmade items for a little bit cheaper, cheaper than what they normally would. Um, but I have no idea how to price an auction. Um, so if there's anybody out there that, uh, sells on eBay, uh, particularly handmade items or crochet items, let me know in the comments below, um, if you have any advice or tips on that. Um, I'm, I'm, st I'm still kind of struggling with, uh, selling on eBay because you know, the, the first person that I had, uh, interested in, in one of my items turned out to be a scammer, which at first I had no idea what, that, that, that was a thing. So, um, I had a sweater in there listed for $54.95, which is only the cost of materials plus 10 bucks to cover uh, eBay fees. Now, in my Etsy shop, that same sweater was listed for $139. But I was thinking, well, it's an auction. People might bid it up. Hello, sir. Um, so, that's what I started the, the bids out at. Well, this particular individual made me uh, an offer for 55 and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and take it just because I don't have a lot of experience with eBay and at least it'll give me an opportunity to learn how this works. He's, he's ter steady tearing my shirt up. Um, an opportunity to, to learn how selling on eBay works and, um, so I went, I went ahead and I, I accepted the offer, um, but I noticed that he didn't pay and then I got the email saying that he had a question about the item and that I needed to respond through uh, a, a specific email. He put a specific email in, in the message. Well, I went ahead and I did that and I asked him what it was that he needed to ask me about, and he just asked me about the condition of the item. And I told him, all of my items are handmade. They are never worn except for modeling purposes. Um, and he's like, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get it. But, and, and I'm paraphrasing some of this. Um, but he says, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get it, but I want you to buy $400 worth of eBay gift cards and put them in the package. Once you've done that, 
I want, or I'm going to pay you for the $400 worth of eBay gift cards, plus the sweater, plus $50 for inconvenience. And he wanted to do this through PayPal rather than eBay, the system that eBay has set up to deal with payments. Um, I also noticed that on the invoice there was no shipping address. So at the time I was a little confused and so I, I immediately started doing research and apparently this is something called the eBay gift card scam. And it's definitely put a very sour taste in my mouth when it comes to eBay. Um, I told him that I wasn't going to do it and that if he wanted the sweater then he needed to pay the amount that was on the invoice that I sent him. And I didn't get a response. And then when I checked back on eBay, the user uh, that bought the item was no longer a registered eBay user. So I went ahead and I just canceled the order. Um, and so I'm also kind of wondering, is like, is this like a common eBay thing? Um, I tried to see if I could report it. And I couldn't find anywhere on eBay where I could report a buyer trying to scam a seller. But I found lots and lots of how-to videos and lots and lots of, you know, information on how to report a seller and a seller's items. But how do you, how, how do you, how do you report a buyer that's trying to scam somebody who's selling something? You know, um, I don't know. Uh, for those of you who do sell on eBay, I'm hoping that you guys can give me some advice. If you didn't already know about this eBay gift card scam, um, now you know. <laughs> um, gosh, by the end of the day, Kiwi's going to have this whole shoulder completely chewed through. He's just chewing pieces of my shirt off and throwing them on the floor, y'all. You just throw them on the floor. Um, so this video probably isn't going to come out till like Saturday or Sunday. Um, so I'll leave the eBay store up until then because I want to see what you guys have to say. Because um, right now I'm really at the point where I just don't think I want to deal with eBay and scammers and but, I mean, if you guys have some positive things to say or have some advice on price pricing and things like that, just anything, I hope, may, maybe it'll sway me a little bit because, like I said, right now I've got a really sour taste anyways. Ow! That is my shoulder. That is not my shirt. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to let y'all guys go. I'll quit talking. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to film it today. Maybe. I haven't decided. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still technically Tuesday. <laughs> Alright, and I'll see y'all later.